I call Scott Simpson. Mr Speaker, thank you very much for this opportunity to speak this afternoon in favour of the introduction of the Advanced Technology Institute Bill in the name of the Honourable Stephen Joyce. Uh, this is another part, Mr Speaker, of the Government's Growth and Innovation Programme, and it's a very, very good part. Mm -hmm. Mr Speaker, in a previous life, I had the, uh, the privilege of being the New Zealand General Manager of a company called Protector Safety, and we sold uh, industrial uh, protective equipment and uh, products to workers and businesses around the countryside, and it gave me uh, a terrific opportunity to meet with literally hundreds of business uh, entrepreneurs and uh, business owners and the people who had started in many times uh, large companies but from small good ideas. Inevitably, inevitably, yes, real world experience, the member for Northland tells me, and it was indeed. But many times when I was visiting uh, companies that had started from good ideas, the, uh, the owners and the people who had started those companies would tell me horror stories about the difficulties they had had in terms of setting those companies up, the, the problems they had had from getting the good idea, the good concept, to a marketable, saleable product stage where they could market it internationally on behalf of New Zealand and in terms of taking their product to an international market. And so supporting this bill is a step to making that sort of opportunity easier for New Zealand entrepreneurs and for New Zealand scientists who have good ideas and can understand that actually uh, the, the mix of science and business is a good one. It's a good one, but it's often a fraught one because sometimes the good ideas and the business don't necessarily connect. And there are a number of sad stories in our history, in our commercial history, where we've had some terrific concept ideas that simply have not been able to be brought to market because we have missed an opportunity at this level. So the Advanced Technology Institute will be a step along the way to making those sorts of things easier for our innovative scientists and our innovative entrepreneurial business people. And in, uh, National knows, Mr Speaker, that that's important so that we can stay ahead of the global market. Uh, I think it's very appropriate, Mr Speaker, that this institute will be named after the late Sir Paul Callaghan. And that's a, a tribute to him, to his innovation, to his science and to his passion for New Zealand uh, and our future. And he believed absolutely that science could make New Zealand a better place. And he had a passion for that and he knew also that by linking science with business that that was a powerful mix for getting high value from good ideas. And he believed that uh, you could champion these things and that by championing them, you could turn them into something tangible and real. So the Institute will become, sir, an innovation incubator. And it's got serious grunt. Uh, there's going to be some serious money behind it. Uh, $166 million over four years, 90 million of that, uh, of that will be OPEX, and $76 million in capital expenditure. So it's about getting those good ideas researched, getting them right, getting them to market uh, quickly, efficiently, and most importantly, profitably. With uh, facilities located, Mr Speaker, in Auckland, Wellington and Christchurch, the, uh, the Institute will be well, well positioned. And the focus will be on opportunities and industries like food beverages, agriculture and digital technologies. But what I want to focus on, Mr Speaker, is the opportunities in the health technology sector. Now in health technology, I've got in my electorate of Coromandel in the very great township of Caddy Caddy, a terrific business by the name of Triadent that is doing exactly this sort of stuff. That's a business that was started just eight years ago, now has an export revenue line of $20 million and will, over the next three years, raise that to $50 million. And what are they doing, Mr Speaker? Well, they're exporting tiny little pieces of smart technology in the dental area and for anyone that is involved or has ever had a, a, a crown uh, tooth work done, they'll know how expensive that is. 
This company, Triodent and Caddy Caddy, produces these little dent dental uh, uh, tools that dentists use when they're doing crown work, and they sell them for 95 US dollars a piece. I visited Triodent recently, and in my hand I held a container, a click clack container, of 2,000 pieces of these little widgets that uh, are produced, something like $200,000 worth of export dollars held in my hand, not a 40-foot container in sight. Now that's smart, innovative technology being used to create huge export dollars and opportunity for us and for our future. So Mr Speaker, I'm looking forward to participating at select committee stages. I know that the Chair, Nikki Kaye, will do an admirable job and I'm looking forward to progressing this bill through uh, select committee because I know that it will add to uh, an already good and thorough growth programme initiated by this John Key-led National Government. I understand the next call is a split call. I'll ring the bell at four minutes. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I, I'm a person who knows a little bit about this area. I, uh...